السلام عليكم طلاب الصف الثالث متوسط وبهذا الفيديو راح نقرا ونترجم القصه اللي بصفحه 60 وصفحه 61 كتاب الطالب قصه a powerful lesson for everyone درس قوي للجميع بالنسبه لهذا السؤال هذا جوابه اوكي السؤال يقول what was the powerful lesson ما كان الدرس القوي هذا الجواب مالتي اني عندك جواب ثاني غيره افضل من هذا خليه ماكو اي مشكله اوكي okay? فهذا جواب يعني the powerful lesson was about love and respect which are truly timeless values that can touch our hearts in unexpected ways هاي الترجمه مالته كان الدرس القوي عن الحب والاحترام وهي قيم خالده حقا يمكن ان تلمس قلوبنا بطرق غير متوقعه الان ننتقل قراءة القصه every year في كل عام الصباح newspaper makes a special offer to two young students from local schools في كل عام تقدم صحيفة الصباح عرضا خاصا لاثنين من الطلاب الصغار من المدارس المحلية التأشير بالسهم من فوق مو التيهون من فوق أشر يعني هسا أدي أشر على عينه هيش أشر أوكي In the summer holidays, these students can work as reporters on the paper. في العطل الصيفية يمكن لهؤلاء الطلاب العمل كمراسلين للصحيفة. They can see what reporters really do in their jobs. يمكنهم رؤية ما يفعله المراسلون حقا في وظائفهم and they can learn to write reports ويمكنهم تعلم كتابة التقارير لا سما في الصيف الماضي سلام أحمد was the lucky boy كان الفتى المحظوظ He was 15 years old. كان عمره 15 سنة. And he wanted to be a reporter. وهو أراد أن يكون مراسلا. On his first day at the paper. في يومه الأول في الصحيفة. He took a new reporter's notebook and his camera. هو أخذ دفترا جديدا للمراسل وكاميرته. One of the reporters was showing Salam his desk when the editor came in and said. كان أحد المراسلين يعرض على سلام مكتبه عندما دخل المحرر وقال: A big new restaurant is opening in Baghdad next Tuesday. مطعم كبير جديد في بغداد سيفتتح الثلاثاء المقبل. I need someone to write a good report on the event. أنا أحتاج شخص ما لكتابة تقرير جيد عن الحدث. والله راجع الحواجب ننتقل للصفحة البعد I can do it أستطيع أن أفعلها سلام سيد قال سلام On Tuesday يوم الثلاثاء سلام took his notebook and camera and went into the new restaurant أخذ سلام دفتر ملاحظاته والكاميرا وذهب إلى المطعم الجديد سلام watched everything سلام شاهد كل شيء but one special thing attracted his attention ولكن شيء شيء مميز واحد لفت انتباهه a young boy was taking his old father ولد صغير كان يأخذ والده الكبير who was in 
a wheelchair الذي كان على كرسي متحرك to the restaurant for a treat إلى المطعم لتناول الطعام the boy bought his father some food اشترى الولد لأبيه بعض الطعام the father was very old and weak الأب كان كبير جدا وضعيف مو ضعيف يعني نحيف تمام للنحيف أكو كلمة ثانية مو weak هاي weak معناها ضعيف يعني ما يقدر and dropped food on his shirt and trousers while he ate وأسقط طعام على قميصه وبنطلونه بينما كان يأكل Many of the other customers watched the old man in disgust الكثير من الزبائن الآخرين شاهدوا الرجل الكبير بإشمئزاز But his son looked at him with love and respect ولكن ابنه نظر إليه بحب واحترام After the old man had finished eating بعد أن انتهى الرجل الكبير من تناول الطعام His son who was not at all embarrassed ابنه الذي لم يكن على الإطلاق محرجا Quietly took him to the washroom and patiently wiped the food from his clothes بهدوء أخذه إلى غرفة الاغتسال أو تقدر تقول الحمام وبهدوء مسح الطعام من على ملابسه Combed his hair and straightened his spectacles مشط شعره وعدل أو رتب نظاراته When they came out the entire restaurant was watching them in dead silence عندما خرجوا كل المطعم كان يشاهدهم بصمت مميت No able to grasp how someone could embarrass themselves publicly like that غير قادر على فهم كيف يمكن لشخص ما أن يحرج نفسه علنا بهذه الطريقة The son very proud and pleased الابن وهو فخور وسعيد للغاية started walking out through the crowd with his father بدأ بالخروج وسط الحشد مع والده As they left أثناء مغادرتهم A wise old man called out to the son and asked him رجل كبير حكيم نادى الابن وسأله Don't you think you have left something behind? ألا تعتقد بأنك تركت شيء ما خلفك؟ The son replied No sir I haven't الابن أجابه لا يا سيدي لم أفعل ما نسيت شيء خلفي The old man said الرجل الكبير قال Yes you have نعم لقد فعلت نسيت شيء خلفك You left a lesson for every son and hope for every father أنت تركت درس لكل ابن وأمل لكل أب The restaurant went silent صمت المطعم سلام was watching everything and followed the boy and his father سلام كان يشاهد كل شيء وتبع الولد ووالده After asking them questions and taking notes بعد طرح الأسئلة عليهم وأخذ الملاحظات He thanked the boy and kissed the old man on his head هو شكر الولد وقبل رأس الرجل الكبير 
Salam made his very first report about this touching story and it was praised by everyone. Salam قدم تقريره الأول حول هذه القصة المؤثرة وقد أشاد بها الجميع. يا أخوتي الهدف الأساسي من هاي القناة من سويت هاي القناة ردت أحاول بكل اللي أقدر عليه بأن أخليكم تحكون إنجليزي بطلاقة وبلفظ صحيح. فجبت لكم مدرسة إنجليزي من أمريكا الشمالية هي تحكي إنجليزي شلون هسه احنا نحكي عربي هي تحكي إنجليزي هي لغتها إنجليزي وأيضا تدرس إنجليزي فقلت لها أريد تشتقري لها هاي القصة للطلاب وقرأتها لكم أريدكم تكملون الفيديو وتسمعوها وإذا عجبتكم قراءتها كمل الفيديو كتبوا لي بالتعليقات إذا تردون أخليها تقرأ لكم بعد قصص أوكي ثانك يو جوباي سي A powerful lesson for everyone Every year, Al Sabah newspaper makes a special offer to two young students from local schools. In the summer holidays, these students can work as reporters on the paper. They can see what reporters really do in their jobs and they can learn to write reports. Last summer, Salam Ahmed was the lucky boy. He was 15 years old and he wanted to be a reporter. On his first day at the paper, he took a new reporter's notebook and his camera. One of the reporters was showing Salam his desk when the editor came in and said, a big new restaurant is opening in Baghdad next Tuesday. I need someone to write a good report on the event. I can do it, Salam said. On Tuesday, Salam took his notebook and camera and went into the new restaurant. Salam watched everything, but one special thing attracted his attention. A young boy was taking his old father, who was in a wheelchair, to the restaurant for a treat. The boy bought his father some food. The father was very old and weak and dropped food on his shirt and trousers while he ate. Many of the other customers watched the old man in disgust, but his son looked at him with love and respect. After the old man had finished eating, his son, who was not at all embarrassed, quietly took him to the washroom and patiently wiped the food from his clothes, combed his hair, and straightened his spectacles. When they came out, the entire restaurant was watching them in dead silence, not able to grasp how someone could embarrass themselves publicly like that. The son, very proud and pleased, started walking out through the crowd with his father. As they left, a wise old man called out to the son and asked him, don't you think you have left something behind? The son replied, no, sir, I haven't. The old man said, yes, you have. You left a lesson for every son and hope for every father. The restaurant went silent. Salam was watching everything and followed the boy and his father. After asking them questions and taking notes, he thanked the boy and kissed the old man on his head. Salam made his very first report about this touching story and it was praised by everyone.